Hello, hello, hello! I'm Eternal Yuko, and welcome back to my 120 single player world. And today, it is time to start shaping out the castle. And I didn't think this through all the way. It's fine. Um, so, uh, the castle, um, is, oh, it is gonna be a, in fits and burst kind of thing. Simply because... Mega builds are not my strong suit, so I'll probably chip away about it as we go. So, the first step is I need to mark out how big I want the castle to be. So, let's take advantage of one of these little pools of water. Um, if I can get in it, thank you. So, the general size is we have all of this area horizontally. So, plenty of uh, north-south space for the castle. The limiting factor is the east-west, especially right here. This is the narrowest section, because it really drops off over here on this side. Ooh. Did I leave that there? I don't know. Um... But it's pretty steep cliff on those two sides. Um, and of course, castles are just complicated things. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. And instead of coming up with my own floor design for it, I'm going to be taking it from the uh, ruins of this castle on the Rhine River Valley in Germany. Uh, which is... Uh, slosh? I'm going to say it's a slosh. Uh, Slosh Rhinesfield? Rhinesfield. Um, so that's going to be the, uh, the basis for this particular castle. Um, so this is probably going to be more of me talking over the outlines because... This is, well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So we are kicking things off with the general lininess of the castle. This um, measurement actually isn't entirely correct, despite the fact that I put a lot of effort into doing math. Because as you can see in the top left corner, there is the map of the actual castle, Rhinefells. Because it's the River Rhine, and then I think the family's name was Fells. I don't know, this family had like three separate castles on the river. They, they, they liked their castles. So, um, just like as a reference, so you can see what I'm going for when I'm doing the outline. Because this is, I probably should have picked a square castle if I was trying to go for easy. Because this one has so, so many diagonal lines. Um, so I basically did the same thing I do when I'm drawing. As in, I rough draft in wool in a bright, obnoxious color. And then I put the actual lines in darker, following the rough draft when it was correct and ignoring it when it was wrong. But, um, honestly, I'm, I'm really excited to try and do this. Especially because I don't have to stick that heavily to the castle. Because it is very, very ruined, thanks to the French. Like basically every single castle in the Rhine. It's either this was restored by some rich person after it was destroyed, or it's still destroyed. Either way, both times the French did it. It's so funny. Um, but I'm so excited for this castle, and especially once we get to the part in just a second, when I outline the general inside shapes some of which proportionately are definitely not accurate to the real life scale because this isn't to scale with the real life one because I couldn't find a math version of it. And if I did, it would probably be way, way bigger than I'd be willing to build. But, um, ah, uh, it's going to be so cool. And I don't really have that much more to say. So I guess we can just kind of sit back and relax and enjoy the time lapse of me terraforming the sections of the castle that are hanging off the edges because it's just, I didn't bet it's fine. <laughs>
Okay, so we are back. So you may have noticed I found a little friend when I was terraforming this section over here. And I actually left it open so it would be easier to get to him. So, hello, friend. Let's just watch ya. And then watch ya. Ooh. I always forget how loud that is. So we'll leave him to uh, recover. And then we'll move him closer to the other villagers. In the meantime, we can go look at our labels and whatnot. And our massive hole in the ground. It's fine. So we're going to start here. This is the entryway. I might move it somewhere else or I might do... Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I might, like, terraform this so it's, like, a more accessible walkway. I don't know. Um, but basically, this is the starting wall. On the map, there's a moat right here. I don't know if I'll add that. Um, the outer aspects, we'll see. Um, so basically, it's the entry walkway here. Um, and there is a tower. I think the tower's right here-ish. And it has a clock tower on it. It's, like, it's one of the distinctive features of the specific castle. Um, and then you'd have to go, like, way around. But I'm going to jump through walls because I'm lazy. So this section right here is the high battery so basically it's a big exterior protective wall that it has like slits in it for the archers and the people on top to man in case they try to use ladders to get over um here is the i think it's the center square this word i couldn't translate it so i don't know if it's like named for a specific person so it's like gortz's square or i don't know um Further up, we have the spring, which is where the future well will go when I move that one. Um, and then, again, jumping through walls. This is the keep, which is very small. It's fine. Um, and then this actually is the dormitory building. So I'm guessing this is where, like, the... I need to stop punching the flowers. This is where, like, the soldiers and whatnot live or something. Because I know the, the royal family residences and, like, visiting guest is over here uh watch that spot particularly well i'll fix that in a bit um and then going across here this is the inner courtyard which i didn't have to translate it just says inner courtyard on the map which is great um this is the apothecary and this of course because this is a german castle this is the brewery and then i think Stall is stable, but I couldn't figure out what the mar is. So maybe, like, this is a specific type of stable? I'm guessing these were both stables, because you had to have fit a lot of horses. Maybe this is where the some of the storage for that went. Hey, you! You're escaping. Um. And of course, I didn't do all of the terraforming. It's not particularly done over here, but I can do that later. Um. You can see exactly where I stopped on that section. But these basically are the little um, exterior raised. So these are, um, uh, what are they called? They're stone supports. So like, it's terraced layers of defenses. So it's like they can't even like go uphill or like dig in very easily. They're kind of stuck. Like, they have to do ladders to get up here. Um, so it really limits invading forces in terms of directions they can come, I think. Um, and the sun's setting, so I'm gonna go take a little nap. But, yeah, that's basically all I got done for this episode. It's, it's, it's been a week, but I have a map. Yay! I love my maps. They're so nice and useful, and they're just a nice feature. So, yeah, so castle there's probably some extended grounds out around the castle i'll probably put them there um on the map they're all off to this side of the castle but there is not a whole lot of terrain here so um yeah that's not fantastic so um let's check on our little guy and see if he is ready to come out of his hole not yet, he's still working on it. But when, when he's done, we'll take him back over to the village and he can move in. 
And he'll probably join my army of weaponsmiths. Because I have plenty of them. There's plenty of options for you, dude. Oh! There he is! Hi! Oh! Um... Where is his face? Oh, there it is. Um... Maybe he was one of my weaponsmiths and he, he wandered off. That's embarrassing. So I'm going to take you back over to the other villagers and everything will be fine. Uh, so I just want to say, wait a second, let me get in the air for this bit because it's more fun. Uh, whatcha! So I want to say thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye Oh gosh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Woo!